Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at your current connection or the person that's most on your mind. If this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on in your love lives. Messages for my dear Pisces, please. Overall energy, the Six of Swords. So this can be, you know, this can be somebody's arrival. Um, this can be about, you know, getting closure and moving on. Okay, so we'll see how that plays out. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you could have that in your chart. Um, your person, what they're thinking or feeling, queen of, queen of pentacles in reverse, all right? So they might be feeling a little bit triggered here, Pisces. Um, your person um, also might not be nurturing the connection right now. They might be focused on, you know, their work or on their on their health. But this can also go in the opposite direction. The queen of pentacles in reverse can be somebody who, you know, who's not really taking care of themselves at this point in time. Um, you know, if you guys have split up or if you've decided to move on. They're seeing you as the Three of Wands. So this was also in the Taurus reading, same position. So if you have Taurus in your chart, there might be a message in that reading for you. So they're seeing you as somebody that um, maybe you, you're looking out to other horizons. Again, it's possible that there's distance between you guys. Um, it could be that Pisces, you have your sights set on, you know, different options or other people or moving. Um, again, I am picking up on there, there being some distance between you and this person. Um, but they also, you know, the Three of Wands is about manifesting manifestation. So they may be trying to manifest your return. Um, or they could see that you're very focused right now on your business on manifesting something in your life. What's hidden, we have the chariot card in reverse. So some of you guys are dealing with a cancer um, chariot card in reverse, this person's stuck. Okay, whether you realize it or not, Pisces, this person I think is very stuck on you or they felt very stuck after this breakup or separation or argument that you've had. And the final outcome is healing. So again, um, it could be healing and moving on. Okay, maybe getting closure, having a conversation, or it could be about healing the connection. Oof, Empress energy. So Pisces, they may see you this way. Um, somebody here is absolutely, they're manifesting you, or you may be manifesting this person, because I do feel like you guys aren't really speaking at this point in time. But the Empress, this is somebody who's got it all. This is divine feminine energy. She's absolutely beautiful. She's a creatrix. She's a master manifester. She's somebody for the long term. Yeah, somebody's seeing things very clearly. They're, they know that they're stuck. Absolutely, they're stuck. They might be losing hope here, Pisces. Yeah. They might be losing hope here. Either they're, they're avoiding you or you're avoiding them. Or maybe even both. But they see you as doing pretty well for yourself. But this person, if, if they've got either cancer in their chart or they've got earth in their chart, it's like they're not doing that well is what I'm getting. Um, you may not even know that. You might, again, you might not be talking to this person or you might, you know, you, they might not show it. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this is somebody who, you know, who needs, yeah, who's just been struggling. That's what I'm getting. All right, Six of Swords. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy. Four of Wands. Beautiful. 1111 and the Lovers. Oh my gosh. Pisces, for some of you guys, you're dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart. Cancer Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer Gemini cusp. But yeah, this is 11. These are both of my soulmate twin flame cards. This is a very intense, intense connection, you guys. You guys are might even be mirroring each other. You guys might be moving on towards safety, security, stability, building a home or a family together. Seven of Cups, yeah. Somebody seeing things very clearly. Where there was confusion before, I feel like there's a reunion that's imminent here, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, but your person... Your person, if, they, if they've if they gone quiet or they've gone silent on you with the hanged man, they're seeing things differently. You know, if they're the ones that walked away from you, Pisces, okay, they're seeing the situation differently. Maybe where they needed to nurture or they needed to, um, you know, give more to the connection. Strong Pisces energy there. 
and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Your person, the Knight of Pentacles is about somebody who offers a lot that talks about the future, but doesn't back it up with actions or words. I feel like your person's taking a look at that. Now they might be feeling that this is what happened with you or in this connection. Um, again, I'm not sort of shifting blame, but they're really taking, they're seeing things differently. They're seeing that, you know, this is a connection that could really have really could have gone somewhere, or this is a connection that could have led to longevity and stability. It's possible that somebody came in between you guys, but again, I feel like with the Queen of Wands energy, this is somebody who has a lot of passion for you. You could be dealing with a businessman or a businesswoman or somebody who works a lot. That could be also what kind of came in between you guys. But I just, this hot lava, this passion here, this person, absolutely, they are manifesting you, Pisces. They're trying to manifest this connection. This person with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, again, you might be dealing with somebody who works a lot or has a lot of responsibilities. I feel like they're trying to create space for this relationship or for you, okay, where they may not have done that in the past. So they're seeing you, and this is like a lot like the Taurus reading, but they're seeing you as the Ten of Wands, carrying a lot of burdens. Again, you might be starting a business. You might also be your own business owner. Or you just have a lot of responsibilities with family and work. All right, the King of Cups, that's your energy. So Pisces, they might see that, you, they might feel like you're not emotionally available because of what you're trying to manifest, because of what you're trying to focus on. All right, I do feel like this person cries over you, Pisces. I know that's, you know, but I'm, that's what I'm getting. And the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person, this person wants you to open up emotionally or they want to open up emotionally to you. They're either seeing where they were really guarded and how that led to, you know, just a lot of burdens within this relationship. Again, I feel like you guys mirror each other. So somebody here needs to sort of have a breakthrough, like an emotional breakthrough either reaching out or talking to one another or your person's just really sort of taking a good hard look at that. All right, the chariot in reverse, feeling stuck. The two of wands. Yeah, this person feels like things aren't moving right now. There's been this major setback. It's like they can't make a decision or they can't even think about, like your person's like, I just get that they're in a fog. The page of pentacles, but they want a new beginning with you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. but knight of wands in reverse they're not so sure i think they're a little bit worried that you're going to reject them or that yeah because they're a little bit worried that you're going to reject their offer or that you won't talk to them they're nervous they're patient they're planning they need to get unstuck i get that this is like they they will they're trying to figure out how to get unstuck and with the queen of wands it's like this person's digging really really deep to try to come out of, you know, come out of silent mode, trying to figure out how to nurture this connection or what they could say or do, because they hold you in very, very high regard. But the Knight of Wands energy is somebody who, who doesn't trust themselves maybe, or doesn't trust that they're going to get the, you know, they're going to have success. So it's going to require them taking a risk. I don't know if your person's ready for that. Let's see. Four of Swords. This is about healing. The Queen of Pentacles. Your person, this is what I'm feeling. If your person, I think they're trying to figure out how to heal, how to fix things, what it is they need to do to come towards you. Tower, it's going to come very unexpectedly. And we get the seven of wands in reverse. Somebody who's been very defensive is going to lower their defenses. But it is possible here, Pisces, that this person is going to very unexpectedly come in and make an offer of, you know, stability, security, let's try this again, whatever it might be. And the seven of wands can be that you're pushing them away or you reject them. But I do feel like for some of you guys, this is somebody getting under your walls and your barriers. Okay. Or, you know, or vice versa, or this person knows they have to let down their defenses and they've got to take a risk. And that may be something that's very unexpected. Six of pentacles. They're thinking about giving you a gift, asking you out on a date. This is about reciprocity. This is about this is about an equal give and take when it comes to love. Star card. Somebody wants to heal this. Somebody wants to absolutely come out of the cold. You could be dealing with a Cancerian, you guys. Double confirmation with the Chariot card, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Somebody here's feeling stuck. 
all right and they they want to they're they're grieving they have regrets they want to come out of the cold they want to heal this All right, so we get self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Yep, so I feel like Pisces, this is a message for you guys as well, like you needed this time. I also feel like your person, they may, they may also be needing to do that as well. All right, we get marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Yeah, if you want it. I mean, we have the four of wands and the lovers card. Somebody's seeing things very clearly. I think they're really worried they're going to miss an opportunity with their true soulmate or divine counterpart. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Yeah, but I'm also getting here... With this Queen of Wands, this person's trying to manifest you back, Pisces. Now, it could be vice versa, okay? It could be that you're trying to manifest this person, but there are red flags that can't be dismissed. And with this Knight of Wands energy, it's about making sure that nobody, you know, that they don't come rushing towards you just because things hurt or they want attention or just for the passion here. Because with the Knight of Wands here in reverse, it's like, you know, you can't just put a band-aid on it. You can't just sort of sweep things under the rug. Like the real issue, the foundation of the problem and the relationship has to be addressed. I do feel like it's possible. I mean, the Four of Swords is an energy of healing this connection. And it is a very, very strong soulmate or twin flame connection here. Strictly sexual and forgiveness. So this person, you know, this person may have been somebody who was very in and out of your life, Pisces, or somebody that didn't give you that emotional availability and vulnerability that like a real true friendship, partnership, you know, um, needs, you know, and I feel like this person, they want forgiveness if they were in and out of your life. Um, or if they sort of made you feel like you were an option or something like that, because it's, it's not the case <clears throat> friendship. So I told you it was interesting. I just said friendship, this friendship is leading to more. This person might come in and say, Hey, you know, you want to have a coffee. You want to start off as friends. They definitely want more than that, but this is about building that strong foundation. That's going to last and that everything happens for a reason. I do feel you guys that this separation, whatever you guys have been through here, you know, the lesson for both of you here is to build yourselves up. Okay. Um, clear your energy field. That's, you know, Venus and Virgo energy, the nine of pentacles that you guys needed this time apart to really go through, hash out on your own. Okay. What's healthy, what isn't, what you need, what you want. Okay. And I do feel like, you know, there's a bit of an awakening going on here. Yeah. Go slow, take time to get to know each other. And then look, we also get second chance. So Pisces, if you guys want it, this person, I feel like they're going to surprise you. They're going to come in if you want a second chance. I feel like this person is seeing things clearly, seeing you clearly. I feel like they're going to come in with accountability as well. All right, where they may not have in the past. So building a legacy together. Absolutely. This person sees you as their other half. They see you as their counterpart. Yep. Yeah. And if they've tried to walk away from you, Pisces, they haven't been able to. Okay, there's only you. Yep, they just come back to you. All right, and I'm listening to my intuition. So this person may have let, you know, the ego get in the way, or maybe, you know, they were very head over heart. So we also get divine guidance, and we get it's over. Interesting. So I do feel like, you know, they, they may have ended things, but I feel like the divine is guiding them back to you. Some of my Pisces, you won't accept this person back. Again, it's all about how they come at you because if they do come in just for all about the passion, all about, you know, putting a Band-Aid over the situation, they fall back into old patterns into whatever it is that broke you up, you know, you are going to be, you're trusting your intuition um, more than ever and you guys will end it. Okay, so it can really go either way here, but it looks promising. All right, let's see what else comes through. I've pulled a few extra cards for my dear Pisces. I'm not sure why, but um, I guess you needed it. All right, so I regret losing you. Yes, I really miss you. I yearn for you deeply. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so you could be dealing with an air sign. Okay. Yeah, this person, they have some major regrets. They're seeing things clearly. They're seeing you as the one. 
They're seeing you as their soulmate. They're seeing you as their twin flame. All right, so we get Axe. So there was, you know, I feel like you guys are in separation, but there's a pattern here that needs to end, Pisces, okay? There may be silent treatment, okay? There may be abandonment. You know, somebody could have run from this connection. Um, so I do feel like that's where you guys currently are. Yeah, separation, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. But I do feel like this can be a transition. Somebody's looking at your photos. They're missing you like crazy. I'm I'm getting a borderline kind of obsessive energy here, Pisces, although we're not really getting the devil energy. But this person has some serious regrets. And we get paradise. They might invite you on a trip, on a vacation. But there's happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. Some of you guys are looking at vacation photos that you guys took. All right. But yeah, somebody here wasn't showing their true feelings. But I feel like they're ready to now. That's what I'm getting. I do feel like there's potential for happiness and healing within this connection. But Pisces, it's going to be up to you. You know, each of your situations is different. You guys are holding yourself in high regard, holding yourself back. All right. I feel like this person is going to take steps towards you. They're being divinely guided to. Let go of the past. So clear energy to allow more love in your life. So we're getting that. We see that with the self-care energy here as well. Like clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So something, you know, it could be past arguments or disappointments. Some of you guys, you know, that you're going to leave this connection in the past. Self-love, Pisces. Love yourself first. So again, really important. You know, don't lose yourself in this connection. This person might be very emotional. They might be very magnetic. But it is about having strong boundaries here as well. Disguise. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. Mm. Yes. All right. And let's see. We get responsibilities. Romance interrupted. Duties come first. So you might be dealing with somebody who works a lot. Okay. And then we get spirit, soul, path. A personal evolution within your relationship. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some sort of awakening going on. You know, in the self-love care, this is also about independence. So, you know, I am getting like, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles, your person may have experienced a little bit of financial loss. They could have pulled away because of that. I feel like both of you, and you're showing up as the Three of Wands energy, I feel like both of you may own your own businesses or you guys both have a lot of responsibilities with work and family. You know, that could be something that sort of got in the way. Okay, I feel like also with this disguise, this person is hiding their true feelings. Like I said, I don't think you realize how much this, this connection has affected them. They might not realize how much it's affected you either. Because I feel like, you know, both of you have sort of pulled back your energy and physical connection. So the sacred union of bodies, two becoming one. And we also see dreams coming true. So there is a really strong physical connection here, Pisces. And Spirit's asking you to take a look at that. That's amazing. You know, who doesn't want that, need that? But there needs to be, you need to make sure that that's, that, that the real issues here are dealt with. Um, and that you have all the rest. You know, don't let that be the deciding factor. Um, have faith. Your rainbow will come sailing through. So some of you guys, you're manifesting this. And for others of you, they are absolutely trying to manifest you. All right, let's see what else comes through. I'm not ready to settle down. Everything will be all right. Please trust me. Okay, so the timing could be off or maybe was off between you guys. All right, we get, I hear a million voices in my head telling me the things I should have said. So somebody's really, I do feel like somebody here is really going over and over like the last conversation or argument that you had, but we belong together. All right, my twin flame, my love. Wow, possibly, this is definitely possible. It's definitely possible this is a twin flame reading with the four of wands and the lover's card. You will always have a place in my heart. Yeah, interesting. So again, I feel like some of you guys, some of you guys are going to say, yes, let's heal this. For others of you, you're going to get healing and closure and you're going to move forward. Oof, Pisces, there's a lot going on here. All right. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.